so hello guys uh welcome to my channel so um uh sorry about uh not being able to give you an update about what is happening with our uh, fiance visa petition so apparently we have the uh, pandemic or the covid 19 pandemic so what me and my husband decided to do is to get married because i was stuck here so i flew here november 18 it's i'm supposed to go back in the philippines um yeah april 6 2020 but unfortunately my flight was canceled so there is nothing for me or there or like i haven't i have no choice but to stay here because like traveling is still prohibited so me and my husband just decided let's just get married so here i'm gonna be telling you the requirements that is needed because um yeah so i came here as a tourist visa so what are the requirements needed for you to file a petition so you're now a spouse so it's gonna be a spousal petition so i'm gonna be showing you um all the documents that i've compiled in um, the documents or forms that you are going to be needing so all of these um, all of the forms that I'm going to be telling you is available in the USCIS website so all of the information that I'm actually partaking on is all in the USCIS website if you know or if you have questions on where to file it how much are you going to pay it's all in the USCIS website but I'm going to be telling you the, the um, forms that I gathered so let me just get my documents so yeah so yeah so um well apparently uh filing for or uh, getting married here in the u.s uh in a tourist visa is long been you know um what do you call this it's not really a good choice for you but yeah but it's because we have a pandemic so there is nothing else that we can do so we do have a valid excuse to get married on a tourist visa here in the u.s okay so let's just cancel all the um negative um you know uh, negative comments about like it's a fraud or a scam whatever we have you are experiencing global pandemic so there's nothing that we can really do so here let's start off with documents so the first one will be the form i-130 or what we call the petition for alien relatives so obviously i'm the spouse now because we got married so my i-130 petition for alien relative uh they're um okay so here are the documents that of course you have to have the cover letter and then you have to submit two photos of the petitioner and two photos of the beneficiary. Then we also have a check amounting to $535 to cover the filing fee. And then of course the form I-130 form. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna be uploading um, the, of course, like how we filled up all of these forms. I'm just telling you what are the documents that we submitted. So, of course, the Form I-130 Petition for Alien Relative. And then, of course, since you are already a spouse, you have to submit the Form I-130A or the Supplemental Information for Spouse Beneficiary. Um, we also included Beneficiary Statement and Petitioner Statement. It's just uh, telling our story on how we got stuck and how we came upon deciding or how we came this, uh, upon the decision of getting married here in the U.S. So you know we're just telling that we did file for the k1 visa petition it got approved but apparently i can't go home because of the covid 19 pandemic so yeah and then of course the petitioner's u.s passport my passport petitioner's u.s birth certificate and my birth certificate as well and of course my i-94 non-immigrant arrival departure record you can get your i-94 by just searching it on the website or on Google just type in I-94 and then just input all your information and there you have it you can print it out and then also I printed out a copy of an email uh, stating that my airline canceled my flight because of the pandemic and then of course our, mar our marriage certificate 
and of course evidences or any proof of um, that our marriage is bona fide and genuine so yeah so that is what is included in um, this forms so yeah so we answered the forms and then so yeah so I've told you if you want to have a copy of um, the things that I submitted just email me our email is fiance visa journey at gmail.com I'll leave the details down below if you want to get a copy of the things that we submitted and all of the checklist just email us and then the proof that we submitted with the i-130 uh, will be the um, of course like our marriage certificate of course that's number one and then uh, photos of our engagement and also photos of our wedding so here our engagement photos there and also our wedding photos so don't forget to um put some caption under it yeah so the more photos that you have with his family or with your uh petitioner's family the better it increases your chances that uh increases your chances that your marriage is really legit like you go interact with the family members so those are our photos then we just clip it with this one with this binder clip uh, make just make it easier for the people who will scan your documents, you know, and then I also filed I-131 which is the um, Which is the application for travel documents or advanced parole So just fill it out and don't forget to complete the G1145 so they know where to contact you It's just asking you for your name email and phone number so the I-131 is uh, the form where our is that it's an advanced for where you can go outside of the US while your green card is in process so yeah just fill it out and submit the necessary documents I just um, included my passport uh, my I-94 and our marriage certificate so that's what's in it and then I compile all of them and also what I included in the I-94 are like um, uh, my package, actually my package, because they said to show some evidences where you live together. So I did submit like when I order packages online and it says my name, like my married name and the address that we have here. So just like this. There. I, I can't show everything to you because like that's sensitive information or confidential so I just um, yeah gave them a copy of that I also gave them a copy of our um, like the policy for our health insurance dental insurance eye insurance because he was able to include me on the insurance however for the bank I was not able to because they were asking for my social security number but I don't have social security number yet so yeah there's nothing that we can really do about that so so yeah anything that will show that uh will, any document that will show both your uh spouse name and your name that's better so yeah compile it also bills if they can include you on the bills that's better but my husband decided not to because he said he's the one paying bills. So, thank you, husband. I appreciate it. But he doesn't want me to include on the bill because he said he's the one paying for it. So why would he? Why would he give me the burden on, of uh, paying the bills? So yeah. So of course the I one thirty we are concurrently filing it or we are filing it together with the I four eight five, which is the adjustment of status so the adjustment of status happens after you get married so it um it's the same document that you're gonna uh submit um after you get your k1 visa and then you get married so i i-485 so yeah so 
for the adjustment of status, of course, you have to always have like a cover letter. And the contents include are a check for $1,225. And uh, this is um, this is including the biometrics fee of $85. And then, of course, um, two photos of the beneficiary, which is me. And then a filled out form of I-485. A beneficiary's passport and of course my tourist visa because I came here in a tourist visa so yeah almost the same um, requirements uh, my birth certificate I-94 copy of the cancellation email the petitioners copy of US passport original copy of the US marriage certificate we asked for like five copies I think it's only five dollars per copy so it's so it's fine so we do have the petitioner statement and the beneficiary statement. It's very important to, that you uh, submit statements because then you were able to tell your story why you get why you got stuck here in America and why you came up into a decision of getting married here in the U.S. So yeah, and then of course the same as the I one thirty, you have to prove that you guys are married. So uh, yeah, it's the same documents. I just made two copies of both for the i-130 and for the i-485 and then you have to fill out the form i-864 which is affidavit of support and supporting documents and then form i-944 which is a new one the declaration of self-sufficiency and of course there are supporting documents as well that you need to submit like the evidences and then form i-765 or application for employment authorization and of course the supporting documents so yeah here it is I just compiled them just use paper clips and binders binder clips so yeah of course the check um, here in the uh, I-485 I submitted what I also submitted or included in the i-130 so there's nothing new with that and then for the i-864 affidavit of support we submitted the uh 2017 2018 and 2019 um tax return uh documents and then also his uh probably last six months of pay slip or payroll slip or pay slip yeah like her like his pay his pay yeah and then of course our marriage certificate it's just to prove that your uh, petitioner can sponsor you while you are still here in the US processing for your green card okay and then I-944 which is the new one declaration of self-sufficiency so I submitted my birth certificate and the copies of uh, the policies that we have the insurance policies like dental vision um yeah the health insurance and then also like a copies of our bank statements his bank statement my bank statement and also like our recent loans for the mortgages car loans whatever you have to show it so uh it's literally um telling them what your current assets combined in a household so yeah and then lastly the i-765 it's the application for employment authorization for you to get a job it's literally the work permit okay so guys if you want a copy of all the requirements of all the documents that you need to pass when you are getting married here in the u.s in a tourist visa and getting married into a u.s citizen and if you need help on um, compiling these documents please do email me at fiancevisajourney at gmail.com. All of my details are be are going to be listed down below. So again, so thank you guys so much for watching. We are going to submit it right now. That's why I'm able to do this video. And yeah, so we're just going to put it in a um, plastic envelope and then i um, going to be mailing it to through USPS. Yeah, through USPS. And it actually took me a month to complete all of this because it's hard to gather all the documents since there is COVID. So all of my documents are in the Philippines and I have them sent over uh, through my brother. So from the Philippines to the U.S. Um, through LBC, one of the couriers there. 
So yeah, gather as much documents as you need, but there are some other documents that I'm not able to gather and then I just stated it in my cover letter saying that I am not able to gather these documents because of the pandemic because we are not able to get the documents ourselves because we are here in the US, we're stuck here in the US. So yeah, so guys, just email me again if you have more questions and thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.